breeze rolls through a field of green, lined in white, calm, awaiting highlights of maize and blue. Since 1927, the Wolverines of Michigan have proudly stood here, where 84,000 fans witnessed their first game and first win. Known as the Big House, it's home to the streak, to the Heisman, and every other year, to the game. The Ohio State Buckeyes. The Michigan Wolverines. The Rivalry. Live from Ann Arbor, here are Tyler Segerman and Noel Blumel. Welcome to the rivalry live from the big house in Ann Arbor. We are closing in on kickoff between a battle of unbeatens. I'm Tyler Segerman. And I'm Noel Blumel. Now, Tyler, I know your first experience with Ohio State and Michigan was last year, but that was in Columbus. That's true. It's a bit of a different scene here at U of M. I say the weather is similar. The fans are just as excited. Obviously, you got to walk around a little bit as well. But this is this is your first experience of all of it. First experience in the Midwest, first experience with any type of rivalry with this type of passion, and I'm excited to see what's in store. We got a little bit of taste this morning going through the tailgates, but it's just an incredible scene all around. Are you staying warm? I, as warm as I can, we got the hand warmers, gloves, never knew a coat could go down this long, but it's great. It's We're two bundled people up. from California here yeah. calling football in Ohio, so or Michigan rather. We're in Michigan today. Michigan. Uh, but let's we have before we get to our the rest of our great pregame show, we have a third member of our crew. Yeah, Chase, it looks like fans are already getting set for kickoff out there. Yeah, things are getting really exciting here outside of the Michigan Stadium, outside of the big house. I got the hand warmers here. You can't see them, but they're in there. So trying to stay warm. It is that classic late November weather up here in Michigan. Uh, you can't ask for anything better than this. You know, the cold weather for a classic football game between Michigan and Ohio State and one of the best matchups in all of college football this season. I am excited for it. I don't know about you guys, but this is one of the best college football matchups in the country. Can't ask for anything better. Absolutely, Chase. Thank you. We'll see him later on in the show. Again, both teams perfect 11-0 coming into today. That's why there's so much anticipation for this game. But one person, the big storyline coming into this is the one missing of Jim Harbaugh. He will not be on the sidelines today. Of course, he is suspended three games from the Big Ten. Harbaugh serving the last game of that three-game suspension today. That stems from the team's alleged sign-stealing scandal and Big Ten sportsmanship violations. Harbaugh denies the allegations but did accept the suspension to drop the investigation. He's been coaching throughout the week and just like last year, there's a lot on the line today. A Big Ten championship game berth, a college football playoff spot, and of course, bragging rights. For the number two ranked Ohio State Buckeyes, quarterback play stood as the big question entering the season. Yet, after a slow start, Kyle McCord has showcased his five-star talent, leading the Big Ten's top passing attack with 22 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Of course, having arguably the best player in college football to throw to certainly helps. Marvin Harrison Jr., a projected first-round NFL pick, is the only receiver in the conference who has surpassed 1,000 receiving yards. But don't sleep on the defense. They may play the biggest role on Saturday. Ohio State's unit ranks top three nationally in both points and yards allowed. In fact, they have not given up more than 17 points to an opponent all year long. What we've done all season is uh, in preparation for this game, uh, the way that we've prepared, the way we've uh, evaluated each game, the way we've talked about each game, our focus in the offseason, our focus um, in the preseason, and our focus during the season. So, um, you know, like I told the guys um, on Sunday, we've been preparing for this moment all year. On the flip side, defense has been the calling card for Michigan. The third-ranked Wolverines lead the country, giving up just nine points per game and less than 235 yards of offense. Mike Sainrastill is one of the ball hawks in the secondary. He's got five interceptions on the season to lead the team. 
Offensively, it's a balanced attack. 14 different players have scored a touchdown for Michigan, led by star running back Blake Corum, who has 20. Dominance that has resulted on the scoreboard. This team has only played in one game that ended within one possession. Now some may point to the schedule as a reason for that, but others look at it as taking care of business. Regardless, the Wolverines have put themselves in position once again to make another statement. We are in position to be in position. Um, that's what uh, that's what we know. 11 and 0. They're 11 and 0. And um, you know, everything is all focus and preparation is on this this game as it should be. Yeah, another unique year for both teams to say the least. And we'll have more on each team later on in the show. Weather has also been a factor in this series, and the last time we were in Ann Arbor two years ago, it was snowing. I'm seeing sun behind me, sunny skies, not too many clouds, but uh, let's check in with meteorologist Matt Willoughby. Matt, what's game day looking like? Yeah, it is definitely going to be at least a cold one, and I know y'all are all dressed up for the game for uh, today. Of course, we got temperatures into the upper 20s, even lower 30s out there for us uh, for today. Th Toledo uh, right at 30, 30 degrees, 29 in Bowling Green. Taking a closer look up at Ann Arbor, yeah, you're currently at 28 degrees for the big game today. So, yeah, likely going to stay into the upper 20s, lower 30s as we go throughout uh, today. So, looking at that big game, kickoff going to be right around 34 degrees, at least by the end of the game. We'll be right around 36 degrees, so definitely a cold one out there for you as we go throughout this weekend. Eventually, uh, for today, we'll see highs near the upper 30s for your Sunday. Yeah, we missed the snow by just one day. We'll like to see some rain snow showers on the way for us as we go throughout your Sunday. We'll be talking some wet snowflakes on the way for us as we go throughout Sunday just after 10 a.m. So we'll like to see some rain showers and some snow showers as we head throughout your afternoon on Sunday. We'll send it back to you guys in Ann Arbor. Sounds good, Matt. Thank you. Now, there are a lot of fans out here this morning eager for kickoff in this whole rivalry game, but Chase Bachman is out tailgating with some of them as we speak. Yeah, guys, I am here with Chuck, Tom, and Dina. They're all part of Veterans of the Game. Now, I'm just going to ask them what goes into what they do on game day. So, Chuck, I'll ask you, what are Veterans of the Game? What is it that we're standing around? What is all this? Veterans of the Game is an organization that we formed in 2014 because we felt that the people who are honored on, in the stadium need a tailgate. They need a pregame, and they need more you know, more celebration and a chance to meet all these great Michigan fans. So that's that's what got us started in 2014. Since that time, we've grown, and you notice that this is we've added these tents, and so we have a so we have a presence now that we didn't really have in 2014. And since that time, thanks to Tom and the University of Michigan Dearborn veterans we've been able to staff and we've got a terrific bunch of staff they're all veterans they're all students at the university of michigan and these are these are great people and last but not least is dina who's his who's joined us and is an actual veteran of the game and she's actually now one of us so and i think you should ask tom because tom has spent a whole career in the coast guard and uh, Tom, introduce yourself. Uh, Tom, Dean, I'll just ask you guys, I mean, what does this group mean to you? What is this organization? What, what does this all mean to you guys? So for me, it's uh, veterans paying it forward to other veterans. So being able to support veterans uh, that are gonna be honored on the field, it's just, it's, uh, it makes, makes you feel good about what you did when you served in the military and after. So veterans serving veterans, that's what I feel is more important than anything, so. Dina, how about you? I think um, honoring veterans while they're still living, so in sharing history, that's my takeaway. And also remembering those who are not with us anymore. Absolutely. Uh, honor. Absolutely, yeah. Good. Honoring veterans on game day in one of the biggest games of the college football season. We're going to throw it back to you guys. Go. 
Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun out there, Chase. And honestly, even though we're in Michigan, I have spotted some scarlet and gray here and there. Pretty pretty bold, but you know, you gotta do it for the fan base, I guess. Yeah, quite right? a few Ohio State fans traveling. I met one from Dayton, so obviously oh, a little okay. bit of a, a drive for them. But yeah, plenty of Michigan fans, plenty of Ohio State fans, plenty of places to tailgate here around Michigan Stadium. It's been an exciting morning so far, but we're just getting started here on our rivalry show. It's time for our first break, but we have plenty more to come when we come back. Stay tuned.